Hey there YouTube, do you want to hear a sound that always makes me smile? Here you go. So, welcome to my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. This is the full version, and I'm actually going to be taking off from where I finished the trial version, so if you want to see what happens in the first chapter and a half, go ahead and check my trial version Let's Play. And here on the title screen, I'd like to point out here, since I pre-ordered, I have the append disc attached to that, so I think that comes in in the second playthrough, so we may not see it, but if it happens in this one, you'll get to see that as well. So, st jumping right in where I left off, right after the battle with uh, Rudin, Yuki. Well, we beat him down. Yeah. We beat him down, so he's going to leave. Without any explanation, basically. Now, most of this is the same from the trial version. That was, guy was just going crazy and making everybody unhappy. Ah, this is a part that had to change. This is where Fia and Alvaro are talking about getting a message through to that Yuiki there. And Alvaro says he's going to make something for Fia. And that would be this. Yuiki Kaiho no Tsue. So, uh, it's a staff for releasing the Yuiki. And the rest of the scene is... The rest of the scene is basically the same. So I'm going to be skipping most of it. Oh, hey, that. This is pretty good. How far I'll get speed <laughs> Okay, shut up, thanks. Avaro's getting Fia to drill a hole. Man, she's trying hard. You're the only one who can do it, Fia. Oh, wait, yeah. We can do it, too. Haha. <laughs> It's just hilarious. But we've seen it before, so I'm skipping through to the next part we haven't. Yes, this part. You remember this? This is where the trial version left off. Well, in a few more lines. I believe this, in particular, is the line wherein the trial version ended. Do, do you. That's the sound of a girl who has puckered up so badly she can barely talk and trying to say go ahead. They ought to make this 
more comical, but hell. I mean, the picture. The sound effect was pretty comical. So she's excited, she's shaking, all that stuff. This is a kiss happening, in case you couldn't tell. Yeah. Now it's over. Yeah, Avara says, this is how far we're going this time. She's so nervous it's making him laugh. Laugh so hard he can't continue. Well, of course, she's not happy with that. Well, she's saying that she's in love with him. And if I was wondering if it's not just because he's the one who woke her up. And she says, yeah, she's really in love. And all that good stuff. Okay, Alvaro says he can't continue this time, but next time they're going to go all the way. So I went and said there was a sex scene and that's all you get. A kiss. Man, that trial version was really... You can continue. Nope, not gonna. Silly Japanese pun. <laughs> Avaro says that Fia's face is all red. Yeah, because she got all excited. For someone who is basically a goddess of sex, she sure gets nervous about this kind of stuff. Alright, I thought I was going to go get some air. Fia gets to go, and he tells Fia to go to sleep. Yeah, she's going to be able to go to sleep after that. Yep, she says she's so excited she won't be able to sleep, but whatever. And here's Avaro digging to himself. Yeah. He's probably blushing too. How sweet. Alright, back to normal. Now we get to talk about how what we need to do next to get to the next point. They're, they're still talking about the same plan. Do workshop work and spread their name throughout the land and all. Yeah, by doing things for people, they make connections with people. And by making connections with people, our connection goddess Fia here gains power to move the castle and all. Apparently, while Fina gains power, he also gains abilities to make some new stuff. 
私のメガ力が火を吹くよみんなを幸せにするぞ Yeah, she's excited about making everybody happy. Ah, this is a new map which is available within Guadacuna Castle. This is the, the place where we fought the monsters with, with Kisnir back in the very first video. All right. This says, in order to get to the next plot point, we need to get Fia's goddess rank up to level 5. So this here is going to be a free map now. But for the moment, let's go check out scenes we can look at. I could have sworn there was something. Hmm. Yep, things to build. This is a small Fia statue. May as well. This is a well-built bridge. Yeah, let's do that. I haven't explained it yet, but these symbols on the on the uh, creations indicate which category they fall into. Hmm. A few fall into defensive. Oh, a few fall into weapons as well. But these ones with the treasure chest are plot relevant. So there will be plot points whenever you build one. I want to build this, but I don't have the goods. So I'm going to have to go out and collect some, uh, that's water spirit spirits and water grass. Hmm. I can do that at the same map I last went to and in addition well more bonuses. Hmm. Better not use my water grass if I don't have to. And let's just get some mega power while we're at it. Oh buildings time. I want more dirt. I get to tell you a new thing about buildings now. Yes. Yes. Sugida. All right, we got two treasure chest items built, so we get two scenes for that. This is about the bridge we built. Recall in the map where we fought that Yuiki. There was a river we couldn't cross. Having built this bridge, bridge we're going to just go put it there. And we'll be able to cross now. Pretty simple. Next scene. Uh, this would be the small Fia statue that Havaro made. By small, we mean it's handheld, basically. He's a bit dissatisfied with it. Something about the shape or the size or even the magic he put into it. Or maybe it's because he was kind of imagining goddess-y things while he was making it and kind of changed it from the original version. Good time for Fia to sneak up on them. Yep, she sneaks up on them and gets to contribute. Fia is such a ditz. Anyway, she heard him mumbling to himself, so she's wondering if he's mumbling about losing his hair. And no, I'm a half elf. I'm not going to go bald. 
Oh, really? We're getting off the topic here. And what the hell do you sound so disappointed about? Anyway, I thought I made this Fia statue. Yeah, and she's just overflowing with praise for him. How nice. So, she likes it? Yeah, she likes it. Well, if she likes it, I guess that's okay. Alright then, while we're talking about hair falling out, Avaro wants one of her hairs to add magic power to the statue or something like that. Yeah, that's the sound of her doing it. So, what are we going to do with this thing? Hmm, that's a good question. How about we create a shrine and have people, uh... Try and get some... What are they? Donations? But then it's too small for that, really. Yeah, Alvaro hasn't decided what to do with it either. But he'll give it to Fia if she wants it. So she's happy to receive it, but she notices. Hey, this statue, aren't these big boobs bigger than mine are? Uh, <laughs> oops. And he's kind of backpedaling. Kind of trying to make the statue goddess lay. She doesn't look like a goddess very much. So he was making a womanly figure rather than a girly figure? I don't know. Not that that gets her down. Alvaro's kind of thinking to himself that he kind of dodged a bullet there. But whatever. It feels pretty easy to please. Ah. This wasn't an actual plot point item, but there's a ah, tutorial though. We made a flower garden. Now why is this so important? Because we can use Yuijin. That's this word here. Basically, it's an arrangement of buildings that has an effect. Here's a tutorial. I'm going to skip it. I am your tutorial, YouTube. This one is called a Hako figure. Or box figure. Now, we don't have enough to actually use it at the moment. But I'll tell you about it. Now most of these, you don't see anything pop up. Right above here you have the pop-up, the four green squares. If you have four qualifying buildings and you arrange them in a square like that, you get a bonus. You can see above there, three HP, one SP, and one fatigue... something. I don't even know what that S stands for. But arrange it in that order and all of your characters get those bonuses. Later on I'll have that. Let's put this down too. This is just going to boost my collection levels, which I don't really need at the moment, but it might be useful later. Now as for other bonuses we get from our buildings, this one provides us with I think I've talked about this one. A uh, brown string every few turns. This one provides five gold per turn. Gifuru. 
these will add one to our command power. Have I ever talked about that? Hmm. I don't see where it is on this screen, so I'll talk about it next time I'm out. So that's command power, and if you get ten of these, or ten with similar effects, you get all of your characters get plus one to their physical physical defense physical resistance that's right so anyway we placed our buildings let's get out of here and right away we've got a request from one of the villagers I think in order for this event to come up, you need the Fia statue, but I'm not too sure. Alright, here's our the request. There's a rumor going around the village that there's a suspicious stone near the well. Near the new well, I mean. So they'd like us to go and check it out. A suspicious stone. Now, the word they use for stone is not like rock, something you hold in your hand, but... A stone thing that... Well, you'll see how big it is when we get there. So this is the Forgotten God's Grave. It's around the spring area. Right in here. That's this new one. But before we do that, I'd like to go back to this. First, because we need more of these water grasses. And also we need to defeat some of the water spirits, hopefully getting a water spirit spirit fragment. Wherewith we can use create the staff we can use for inter interacting with the Yui keys. See, I've only found two of five of those. Those, uh, those grass areas, grass gather points. But anyway, most important, yes. let's clear the place out. Except for that tough thing in the lower left, I'm just going to ignore it from now on. Let's see right now. Let's equip the claw. So that she can fight back when these enemies attack her. This really speeds things up. Now what did I tell you? There's a bridge here now. Isn't that convenient? Now, in my trial run, I messed everything up down here. And so to speak. But it was all kinds of inconvenient. I'll tell you a little more about how I messed that up later. But for now, let's just... clear everything out and see what we can see. Avaro fixes things, and Fia will come up here and start massacring the water spirits.
All right, we're going to go back on the bows because these enemies predominantly use the ranged attacks, which will have an easy time. This is new, but it's not what I want. Ah, see? Because I have a bow, I get to counterattack. This is a crappy level up. It's better than the worst level up that could possibly happen, but it is not much better. <laughs> That's not what I want either. If I don't get what I want... If I don't get what I want, I'm gonna leave these two whirlpools open so the more of these enemies can come out. Not it. Before I forget... Here we go. And we didn't get what we wanted. Come on, is this so hard? Oh yeah, I just remembered! In the trial version, I got a goddess card in my trial runs, and because I did it, I didn't do an explanation that, it, that I was expecting it to do. Ah, it's not gonna do it here either. Maybe at that other map. Oh, oops. Navarro, come here, open this chest. Yeah, get over there and kill the water spirit. Nope. I'm getting a lot of blue liquids out of these girls. Let's see. Black iron boots. Now these things have an interesting effect. Do you remember how the control works for these games? When you're in an enemy's area of control, you can only move one square per turn. But if they're in your zone of control... <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's what I want. And we're basically done here. Anyway, there's zones of control. But if you control an entire room, you just... then the enemies can't move very well inside it. Now if you control one of these and come back to a map, even if there is an enemy in this room, they won't gain control of the whole room like normally would. Alright, this is just a freebie and then I'm leaving. So, let's get going. Now I need more water grasses. I need three for that thing I'm going to make, and I, now I get one more for a total of two. Huh? I don't remember this scene. Oh, I remember this scene now. Fia spotted something. It's a carriage. Which Navarro remembers.
this carriage is a mobile workshop. It's called the Aquatic Beasts Vanguard, let's call it. And this tough looking guy is called Detailum. And upon seeing us, he's gonna be angry as hell. Abaro! Yeah. Remember. Okay, so he's accusing Avaro of stealing his work. Yep, he is the guy from the city that the town sent somebody to go hire to fix the well. And now he's heard that Navarro did it for, did it already, and did it for free, no less. Yeah. <laughs> But he says he's not really angry that he stole the job. Fia says, yeah, you are angry. Yeah, he's not angry that we took the job. It's She's angry that we didn't take payment for the job. Because that says something about the work that he's willing to do, or something. Yeah, it wasn't so much about the money as to spread the, uh, spread the fame of this workshop. Uh, yeah, workshop. We have our own workshop now. Did you hear that sound? That sound was... Fia wanting to be in the conversation. Right, right. So... This tough old fart is Detelm. He's the one who taught Avaro his... engineering... stuff. Or he says, beat it into him. And this Aquatic Beast's vanguard is the place where he learned it. As you can see, it's a carriage drawn by those horses there, and blah blah blah. Really need an explanation? Yeah, here's Detail badmouthing Avaro for being. for just having some elf blood and being able to pick this stuff up without any difficulties. Avaro complains that he didn't just get some elf blood in him. While it's true that there is blood in him, it's not like he did it in order to be good at this stuff. Alright, now he's saying that he's brought a pretty good looking girl along with him. And he's finally decided to settle down. We're not married. We're just traveling together. Yeah. And Fia introduces herself as Avara's wife. Cause she's that kind of girl. Oh look at that. These two are not going to be fun to be around together. Well, neither of them are all that 
Both of them are kind of like that by themselves, actually. Oh. I've always said that if he, she keeps doing stuff like that, people are going to get the wrong impression. And if, say, if they get that impression, it's more likely to come around. Oh, a clever girl, hmm. So, that's these two. Alright. <clears throat> now Deedholm's gonna get caught up on when we met Fia, how long we've known each other. How they met, all that good stuff. Etc, etc. Now, now we get to tell him that Oh, and his nickname is Deet, I guess. Anyway, this castle is my workshop. Uh, it's kind of Fia's body, though. <coughs> yeah, Deet Helm says Avaro was lucky to have met Fia. Fia says that she's the lucky one to be able to meet such a wonderful gentleman. Yeah, right. Don't you think so, wonderful gentleman? These two are embarrassing. Well, Fia int introducing Fia to pretty much anybody is embarrassing. Yeah, so he says he's seen the well that Avaro made. Avaro's a bit nervous that Deethelm will uh, judge it as insufficient work or something. Let's see what he has to say about it. He says it's pretty good. He's grown a lot since they've split up for... or whatever. Well, yeah, he has been working ever since then with the same goal in mind. Fia says, Avaro's blushing because he's gotten some praise from his teacher. Nah. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, now we give Fia some credit for the help she did. Now we're gonna take this joke and run with it. Deed Helm says that he's looking forward to seeing some grandkids. Sophia says, calls him father-in-law and says he's being too... Um, being too rushed about it. But it'll probably happen pretty soon. All right, you two, knock it the hell off. So, that's these two. I don't know how many times. Alright, down to business. At this point, Havaro can engage in some commercial transactions with this guy. For mutual profit, I guess. So yeah, we can meet him while he's here, but there will be other times when we won't be able to meet him. 
何かいるようだったら尋ねてきな次は取引の腕が上がったか見てやるぜ Well ジョちゃんも何か用があったら声かけてくれ特にアバロンにいじめられたらすぐにいな悲しめてやるよ Okay Here's a good one. d e t a i l says that Fia can come and see him anytime as well. Especially if Arbaro tries something mean, in which case he'll beat, it, beat the、uh, intention out of him. <laughs> and she says instead of that, the two of them should just pick on Arbaro. But whatever. All right, here's the explanation. Basically, what I said. We can visit this guy. Great. Hey, this is the rank I needed to get to. Megami rank up! So, no longer a bridge builder. Now she's someone who's looking and thinks about the happiness of the people. This new skill is something I'll talk about a little bit once we get the chance. Okay, how about right away? Skill. Fia.、Yeah. This is the Sensei Kogeki, Type 1. If this is equipped, then whenever an enemy attacks you, you, may get the, you have the chance of getting the first strike against them instead of them getting the first strike against you, which usually happens when the enemy attacks you. I don't consider it very useful. I'm going to put on the multi attack. It has a 10% chance of giving you double attacks every time she has the round. So, this is Detail's shop, and all this stuff you can buy. Hmm. I've typically been low on clay, I might actually buy some from this guy. But. I'm gonna really quick come in here and gather more herbs. Because. Hmm. Nuts, it'll take a long time to get down there. Jutsu、oh. No time to whine about it. Oh, give me a break. <clears throat> That's more like it. Now, I couldn't carry the, the save game from the trial version over, so I made a brand new save game. And I actually did a pretty good job of grinding good stats from the level ups these two got. Oh, yeah. Go on, don't I call? Oh, yeah, here's an example. Normally, when this dryad comes into this room, he took control of the entire room. But since I have this here, it's able to contest his control, so to speak, so that he, we can just march right into the room even though we don't have a character in it. I'm just here for the herbs, so this will be short. Don't I call? 
もらっておこう。All right. Water grass, water grass, water grass. たくさん見つけられたね。Yeah, I got a lot of them that time. So, yeah, let's visit this. All right, this happened after getting a bunch of requests from villagers and doing things. And it, doing all these requests it has taken Avaro late into the night, considerably later than usual. He hopes Bro! he doesn't. Well, this sounds familiar. Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait. Ooh. Sounds like Fia's already found out and she's interrogating helpless passers by. Yeah, Fia doesn't like Avaro staying out too late. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm not listening. Hmm. So, Avaro's going to peek around, and what he sees is not Fia, but a small shadow. <laughs> so, the guy says that he didn't know it would move. And our new friend here is obviously a bad guy. And this Eo doesn't care what he doesn't know. So this is some kind of backroom dealing going on. A guy's failed in his purpose and uh, now... Okay, I'll just be clear with it. This is an assassin. She's been sent to kill him. Now he's begging for his life, saying he'll try and get whatever she wants. Yeah, she does want something. I want your neck. Man, she sounds so creepy. And Navarro doesn't let this happen. Oh, hey, how about that? It's not like we didn't know who it was, though. Dare. Oh, how creepy. Yeah. Okay, she's adorable. So, I've always cut in, and now we get to see... How many of you are surprised by this? Last time we heard him scream, he was uh, screaming for Kisnir to save his ass from monsters. I think him screaming in fear is going to be a running gag or something. Okay, so why is this person trying to kill you? Anyway, who is this person? This is what you were screaming in fear from. She comes up to, like, your armpit. Hey, admittedly, her sword probably goes over your head. Stood it on... Stand it on one end. But she's not sticking in too close when there's two people to fight or something. Alright, this guy's panicking, and he gives Avaro this. This is it. This is it. Take it. Big explanation there. What the hell are you talking about? So, he says, you took it, you took it. Now I'm not connected to this anymore. And he runs away. 
So he handed something off to us, and apparently this relieves him of any responsibility. And we're left alone with... Psycho Child. Ah, she's too cute to hate, though. Now of our looks at the thing, and it's one of the devices from Guadalcuna Castle. Hey, what are you doing? That's dangerous. Give it. She doesn't talk much. Watch this. Oro has like three lines, probably a hundred syllables, explaining what it is, where it's from, and why we aren't giving it up. This is her response. <clears throat> oh, I think I missed something. Yeah, I've always figured out what Eel is after. And that is this thing that the fat guy handed off to us. And Eel's lack of a response is what Avaro takes to be confirmation of his suspicion. But he's not going to give it up. So, Nara, Shinde? Oh, if you're not going to give it up, then die. Isn't she adorable? Well, that's pretty straightforward. But, I was not going to die that easily. <coughs> Alright, explanation of what we're doing here. We don't actually have to fight her. If we just run to some place where a lot of people will be able to win, a lot of witnesses will be around, then she probably won't follow us and try and kill us or anything. Oh look, a place. Alright, she says it's necessary for whatever, so she wants it. Nope. Yeah, we could fight her, but even if we did fight her, it wouldn't actually give us a win. So we'd still need to get over to the other end in 20 turns or less. Let's take a look at her stats. 19 attack, 13 defense. And I've got 13 attack, 10 defense. So she'll do 9 damage to me and I'll do 1 damage to her. I think I did the math, and if I felt like using all of my healing items, I could finish her in about 15 turns or so. Meaning I'd still lose because I couldn't get to the end in time. So let's run like hell. We're just going to defend because, like I said, taking 9 hit damage each time is a bit more than we went to Avaro to do. <clears throat> to say nothing of the fact that she is so fast, she gets three attacks for every confrontation. So that'd be 27 damage. Yeah, let's defend. <laughs> yeah, she caught up. You're slow. No, it's just the control system here. <clears throat> Isn't she adorable? Anyway. Obviously I've done a trial run of this already, so I know what I'm doing. So this event here lets us set up a trap. Or more specifically, cuts her off from following us directly. Not that it exactly helps us much. But we have good news. Since that room is four squares long, she's going to waste one time getting, one turn getting into there. But another event. Blah blah blah. Hey, I found something useful. It's a trap. Now we learned something interesting about Eo. You see, she got to move four squares where we only moved three. Yeah. Now I just stood on a trap. I don't know if you'd, I'd have ever explained it, but 
you see our flag here in our upper left? That's our team, so we're a blue team. Yo here is red team. But the trap right underneath me has a blue flag as well, so it doesn't affect me. But if she steps on it, and she doesn't really have a choice, it will affect her. That's that effect. We'll keep her from moving for one turn. Now, if I'm going straight for the exit, I would go that way. And if I go this way, it's obviously a dead end since there aren't any other ways over there. So let's be stupid and go take the dead end. Hey, goodies! Oh man, I can't believe what I was thinking. But, 10 blue seeds. That's useful. Oh, surprise, the game isn't that mean to us. But I do need to chase this bat down and kill it while she's hot on my heels. Oh, hey. She's going to catch up with me shortly, and Alvaro still needs healing. Hell, we got plenty. Exciting, isn't it? Alright, now do the control rules. She gets to catch up with us again. Defend, and we'll be pretty safe. Ouch. Ha, oh, we win. Take that, adorable assassin. Alright, stage clear, but there weren't any objectives, so we don't get any items. Alright, I got out of there. You're a little faster than I thought. Hmm. Alright, now that we're in a place where we can be witnessed, she's not going to try and kill him anymore. Of course, says, I don't really know why you want this thing, but I'm not going to let you have it. You don't need to give it, I already have it. What? Yep. She caught up with us and stole it while we weren't paying attention. Alvaro, you idiot. And now he's kicking himself. Okay. Now Alvaro's asking her to give it. Says he needs it. Although he doesn't say why. And now that we're someplace with witnesses, he can't very well threaten her into doing it. Isn't that ironic? Yep, he can't go swinging around a weapon when he could be, yeah, I don't know, caught. So, now we're stuck. Yeah, you ran yourself. You dug this own hole. Yeah. This is you getting a saying wrong, I think, or something. She's saying he's been hoisted by his own petard, which is true. Alright. Later, I'm done here. No, stop! Don't care. But he asks it, her why she wants it. She doesn't know. And even if she did know, she doesn't need to tell him. So, whatever. Everall says he's not going to let his guard down again in front of her.
場合によっては消すことになるかもいや She says that if he's under certain circumstances she might come back Probably not to steal things but to kill him But whatever なんのことアンドバーは、ディスティングフォーナー、ビーンが、シーズン、ハイドアサソン、エンドアダーディルワークドゥー。エクスプレイニングディダクション、サンコーニスル。アフォーネーネディドゥ髪の色が2色の変な半分エルフ。So, bye bye. Two hair colors, half elf, half blooded elf guy. Yep, his identity is in outed. Oh, this could be bad. Better go tell Fia or something. We don't actually get to hear that part of the conversation. So that event was at the village, but now here we are back at the castle. And we can just leave. In spite of the fact that here at the gate is apparently a battle waiting for us. Now I'm not going to do that battle right now because that will advance us to the next chapter and I have a couple more things to do. Did I get enough? Yes, I got enough water grasses. This thing here. Oh, I know, I don't have enough for it. So, nothing else I can build. Yeah, nothing. Something I would like to show you guys is this. This is a tree that will give us water, water colored seeds, or blue seeds, which restore our health. It'll give us one every three days. But I don't have enough dirt for it. Maybe I could buy that from what's his face. Yes. Yes. Sugida. So I built that event item, so let's see the event. This is the staff w that we will use to communicate, uh, get our intentions across to that Yui key. So let's call Fio over and show her. What's up with the staff? So we talked about getting away for Fia to communicate her feelings or something with the Yuiki. Oh, she gets it. All we need to do is take the staff and beat them to, into consciousness with it. No. Not quite, no. Look, you wanted your voice to reach these spirits, right? So if we use this, put in some magic power, and uh, press it against them, then it'll work. Hi. Iko, Iko. Nade, nade. And she's gotten the idea that she needs to say good boy, good boy, and pet her them with this. Pet them with the staff. Although the petting part is, I guess, kind of accurate. And she decides that in order to test it, she's going to do it on Avaro. Not that it has any effect. And she says that maybe her love will get across to Avaro like this. You dork. Okay, first, that's not what it's for. And second, you're not using your magic power. Dork. I wonder if this is really gonna work. So, Fia has a new skill. Stop moving in the background, I'm trying to talk. This is the skill that will let us to capture Yuikis, apparently. 
but I can't equip it right now for two reasons. First, you see the CP cost? This has a pretty high CP cost, so I can't do it be unless I unequip something. And second of all, even if I did have enough, like for this one, you can only equip four different skills at a given time. What do I want to get rid of? Healing spell. I never use healing spells. I use healing items sometimes. Which is unusual, I don't in other games. But anyway. Yuiki capture skill. Alright, do you need an explanation? I am your explanation. Alright. If we see one, we get to smack him up with this skill. Which brings us to the actual battle I wanted to show you today. Oh wait, was that a spoiler? I take it back, I didn't... that didn't have anything to do with this. Yeah, it's a deep forest. Really scary. Feels like something's gonna jump out and get us. So yeah, this place is where the suspicious rock the villagers have a rumor about is. Stone. Stone. It's a stone, not a rock. So... Oops. Let's start by... Fixing this thing. Well, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Now, actually doing what this requires took me like three attempts in my trial run. But I think I've got it figured out so that I won't be wasting too much of your time now. Hmm. Normally I would have expected that water spirit to attack instead of just wander in. But hell, free kill. Oh, the battle animations are still on. Off. Blast you tough enemies and your damn tough enemy miss. I should have made more of those HP drinks. Hmm. Alright, let's keep at it. Oh. This is a good level up. Normally in an ideal level up I would get physical attack, physical defense, speed, and luck. But luck is actually pretty hard to get. I think there's like 5% chance. So getting these three is a good run in my book. Physical attack is important because when I attack physically, it does damage. We're going to skip over the event for now and clear out the rest of the level. Because it's going to be fun, that event. I think I started telling you I got a pretty good level up. Some pretty good level ups in this introduction. And Fia has actually a pretty high luck for her... Well, for what she should have. Mm, let's just go get it.
Mm. Let's see, I've gathered everything, but I'm gonna go find that harpy and kill her. Oops. Oh, look. So that harpy is attacking us from somewhere we can't see her. But I can still fight back. And Fia gets three attacks because she's so fast. <laughs> Golden feathers. I don't think I've actually gotten that before. So that's that for here. Oh, a sunstone. All right, let's head back to this event and get it done. And yes, I'm going to need the both of them. Are you ready? Here we go. So this is the stone. The big suspicious stone. She immediately analyzes that it's been sealed, but it's covered over, but it's completely overgrown with plants and things. So let's start clearing it away and see what happens. Navarro observes that it has markings similar to Fia's imagery. Could be this diamond-shaped thing she has on her on her uh, dress in a couple places. Accessories. Ah, anyway. <clears throat> so, does wonder if it has any connection to Fia. <laughs> Yeah, you never remember anything. Alright, let's try and figure out what to do with it. Something is sealed here. And the seal might be weakened, but it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Wonder if we can restore power to it. And Fia's great idea is to take... you remember the miniature Fia statue we made? May as well just call it a, an action figure or something. She's going to take it, set it here, and her power is going to bring it to life. Gee, yeah, right. You stupid dork. Well, what do you know? But she says there's a hand. A big hand came out. It's a golem. Well, okay then. Alright, something's been walking up here. Let's see. If that's a guy. And this is a hand. Yeah, that's a pretty big hand. Yep. It took the it took the statue. And feels upset. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she doesn't know who you are, but 
give back the symbol of of our and my love and stuff. Now, this guy says, this is just an image. Where's the real thing? So, he's saying that the battle was not finished. What battle? I don't know. And he needs to fight. He also gives his name. Karin Yuiki. So this is another Yuiki. This one, Karin. Man, Karin sounds like such a girl's name. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, I've been calling this a guy. It's a guy. In the famous words of Admiral Akbar. Okay, actually, no, I'm not going to say it. But it's a guy. So, yeah. Avaro catches it. It said it's a Yuiki. Oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> Obviously, we're going to fight. Fia doesn't know why it's attacking her, but it is. Okay, he's recognized the scent. There's no mistaking it. It's him or her, and I need to kill them. Spirits of the Earth, give me uh, strength and all that. Alright, it's fight time. Apparently these uh, tendrils are supposed to be vines that have sprung up and are grabbing at Fia for whatever reason. Blah blah, exchanging threats. Let's get to the fight. So there's a golem, but... The only one we're fighting is the Yuiki. We'll be able to do it though. Nothing for you to do this turn, Fia. Let's see, he's not too tough. And he's so slow that even Avaru gets three attacks on him. Oh man, that hurts. Did you notice Karin Yuiki had an ability pop up whenever we attacked him? That's a magic, that's a physical defense. He reduces Navarro's attack by 10% all the time. And I don't mean damage by 10%. Right here, Navarro has 13 attack, it reduces that by 10%. So it attack, reduces it by 2 to 11. So he was only doing 2 damage. So I don't think I'm going to have Avaro do that. Well, no, actually, I think I will. Because if Avaro does it enough times, he gets his super attack, which will probably do more damage. But he still needs healing. It did 17. How did it deal 17 damage? Oh, whatever. I'll save before I end this turn. But the best way to fight is always to buff the fighter and have the fighter do the actual attack. Let's see. Let's think about having a direct fight with us. Lose 16 damage to us while we do 9 damage to her. Him. It. Yeah. Better stick to ranged attacks. So let's consider. Magic is 10, and he has a pitiful counterattack. Either one is 10 damage, so we don't get any benefit from. And now, remember I said the physical defense would reduce this by 2, but it probably won't work on this magic attack. Magic attacks are great. 
Okay. I won't be able to do that a second time, though. So... I said I would save, and I'll save. Because if he actually kills Avaro, it, it would be a problem. Okay. Avaro, buff Fia again. Now, Fia. This is the Yuiki capture skill. It's... Hmm. It looks like it's a magic attack, so perhaps we won't get any damage reduction on it. But even if we do, we've got a 100% chance to hit. And it's only there. And he's only got 10 lives left, so... This should be done. Alright. New item, the Earth Spirit's Necklace. Now we get to... Now since we used the Yuiki capture skill, we get to try this uh, staff thing and see if this guy will come around to not being an asshole. Okay, thanks for taking a minute and a half to spit out ten words. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Alright, yes. He is being not violent and curious about what's going on. Alright. Alright, Fia introduces herself and Karin runs up, hugs her and says, Mommy. Or something. I'm not your mother. Uh, Avaro. Avaro says, Fia, you had a kid? <laughs> yeah, we're just teasing Fia, but she takes it literally. More hugging, more slow speaking. But feels feeling kind of warm and fuzzy from all the hugging, so maybe she is. Uh, he is her child. In which case, the dad would be Avaro. Logic. Yeah. All right, now we're now we're getting somewhere. This guy's got to know something. So let's start by saying we're going to be friends. And he doesn't even know what a friend is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, friends are people who hang out together and play together and do stuff together. And hug together? Nah, no, okay, whatever. No, no. This guy's got something to do with Fia here. Get some explanations. Curious minds must know what is going on here. Ah, she's so up with him. She wants to take him home. Oh, 
Okay, there. I'm done listening to you. So, Thea's invited her to come back to our castle with us, but he can't do it. He's has, He's got this mission to guard this place, and he can't leave. But, apparently, we can summon him to help us out. So, if we summon him, he'll help us out? Yep. Now, it's nice that he's a love bug and everything, but, uh... Well, okay. More hugging. Don't know what's up with the golem, but apparently it wants hugs, too. And Fia is not well suited to receiving hugs from golems. And especially golems that are like 20 feet tall. But whatever. Alright, we got a new unit. Sort of. There are special rules here. You can see this is Karin Yuki. But we can't summon him here. And we can't summon him here at either of the deploy points. He can only come into being right next to Fia. Well, even with a funny little restriction on it. It's nice that we have another fighter. And let me tell you about this guy. He's got more life than Navarro. He's got more defense than Navarro. Except Navarro's wearing better armor. And he hits as hard as Navarro. Wait a minute. All of your equipment does nothing. Except for the weapon, which adds some accuracy. So... Oh, and you can't unequip anything he's got on him, so you can't equip him with better stuff either. But I'm sure eventually he'll come around. You can mess with his skills, though. I'm sure later on we'll figure out how to improve his equipment. He gets these skills from it from his equipment, but he doesn't get any stats. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. This is an interesting skill. If he's standing next to Fia, and he receives an attack, sometimes Fia will protect him, and he won't take damage. Apparently. In Earth Elemental Squares, he'll get an additional 10 dodge, and Five critical hit. No, oh, additional 10% to hit as well. He can cross earth elemental squares that other characters can't, and that's just a magic attack. Here's a special attack. This is that defense skill. Whenever an enemy attacks him with a physical attack, their attack power is reduced by 10% before his defense is subtracted. Which means he can... He can tank, I'll tell you. He can tank. Pretty surprising for someone who's even smaller than Fia. But you know, that's what the fun is, right? Alright, let's get these goods and get out of here. Hmm. I'd have thought in a place with an Earth Elemental Spirit of this level, there would be some Earth Elemental Squares, but it's all, you know, normal stuff. Except for down here, which is water. But Last item. And let's get going. Hey, it's another red ring. I can equip it on somebody to give them better attack. Hmm. Nope, he can't even equip this. But now both Avaro and... Oh, shut up. But now I can have a, a red ring on both Avaro and Fia. Which will increase my attack power. And we're done here. Oh, 
If I collect all the goddess cards, then I'll get a few. That thing's useless. I've already got a ton of those. Alright. Green magic ore and ore. Ore is good. We use ore for things. That sound is... Fia's got something to say. What's it got to do with? Alright, great. Okay, summoning. And I'm summoning. She's trying to do, practice ranged summoning. So that if we summon him, we don't have to actually have her bring him in right next to her. And yeah, that would be kind of useful, but... It's a restriction you can deal with. Yeah, that is where it explains what I explained to you on the map there. You know, I'd like to show you this other map. But I think we're about out of time, so I'm going to call it a day here, YouTube. And I will see you next time.